Other news tonight, they've got a medical waste mess in Galt. In just one month, more than 900 hypodermic needles were dumped off at a recycling plant there. That recycling plant is not designed to handle the medical waste. New tonight, CBS 13's Anjali Hemphill is in Galt with more on how worker safety is at risk. Well, it's illegal in California to throw hypodermic needles in the trash, but only certain cities and counties in the state have laws addressing the matter. It's easier to find a needle here than in a haystack. In fact, workers at the Cal Waste Recycling Plant in Galt come across dozens every day. In July, we received over 900 needles here. Cal Waste says these workers wear safety gloves while they sift through 140 tons of trash a day, but they can still get poked, putting them at risk for bloodborne diseases like hepatitis and HIV. It's very scary for these employees and, you know, for this for our staff that has to look them in the face and say, "Hey, look, you know, you now have to go and you have to be tested, and it's going to take a year. Currently, the only way for people in Galt to legally dispose of their used needles for free is to drive to Elk Grove. Many of these people are low income, they can't do that, so then they end up trying to self contain them and put them in the trash. That's why Heidi Sanborn is in favor of a proposal in the city of Galt to require stores that sell needles to take them back free of charge. It's not cheap, but somebody's going to have to pay. In the past, some retailers have expressed concern over the high expense, saying it cost them about 90 bucks to properly dispose of a box of 100 needles. It shouldn't fall on this, our industry. It shouldn't fall on us. Proponents argue the cost is much greater to employees whose lives are at risk. They're going to touch that needle. And if it's, you know, Grandma Betty at home that's diabetic or it's a junkie in an alley, you know, that employee out there does not know what they've just been stuck with. The Galt ordinance is still in its preliminary stages. Supporters are also seeking legislation that would require free needle takebacks statewide. Currently, places like the city of Sacramento, Vacaville, and Los Angeles have point of purchase needle takeback programs.